If you're looking for a way to speed up your Microsoft Flight Simulator download, these are two options that can help you out. So stick around and let's go check it out. What is going on guys? It's Rob, aka Flight Sim today. And like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can speed up the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 download, be that the first time you download it, or if you're just updating it. Um, but before we get into that, please do remember, hit that subscribe button, you know, you stay up to date with any uh, tips and tricks we post, such as this one, any reviews, uh, live streams, and also check out the link below for the Discord server, the Flight Sim Network. Here you'll find lurking away in the shadows, real world pilots, real world edge traffic controllers, VAT sim supervisors, and simply no questions off limits. You know, don't feel stupid. It's a safe haven. Like I said, I'm now going to show you two ways that you can speed up your door download. One's free, one's paid. Um, it does work for most. It may not work for you, but it's a solution. And so what we want to do is if we go to reddit here um, it gives you the idea of the freed up uh, the freed i should say free option um for you here and the first thing you need to do is open up a command prompt now there's two ways of doing this you can press windows and r and then type in cmd but you do need to be running as administrator so if you're not an administrator yet you need to change that slightly so the other thing you can do is in the search bar just type command right click and then run as administrator. Okay. There's the first bit, super simple. Now, the next bit it's saying here is enter this command and press enter. So the thing you can do is you can control C, highlight it, control C, and then paste it in. Now I'm not going to do this for the simple reason I'm creating this video. But the moment you press enter, it's gonna do its thing in the background and then it will display an okay message and please restart your PC. Okay, super important. Um, you will get a speed increase if you do not start your PC, but by restarting the PC, if it asks you to, um, you will actually get a bigger boost or from what most people have reported. So that's the free option, okay? It may work for you, it may not. If that does not work for you though, all is not lost. Now the second one we're gonna look at is NordVPN. Now it is a paid and there are other options out there for VPNs, but these have a good reputation. Now what a lot of people have reported twofold is some people have said by changing over to a US VPN, they reported huge spikes in download speed and others have changed theirs to Central Europe or Ireland. Ireland was a common one and they reported huge speed increases so if you are really really struggling then you know nordvpn could be a good option it's not expensive i'm not getting paid to promote this in any way shape or form it's just simply an option for you but like i said this should increase your download speed if you're really struggling but that said, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments, did it work for you? Did it not? Do you have other solutions that have worked for you? Like I say, post them in the comments and we can all help each other out. Other than that, guys, stay safe, take care, and we'll talk soon.